Monsters Inc. and Finding Nemo. Scribble Knots is actually a good game. It's not worth anything, but it's supposed to be a good game. Shameless DreamWorks cash grab. And also kind of the downfall of Antonio Banderas' career. I don't remember it being that bad. I don't remember it making any money, which no. compared to Shrek was already Shrek a disappointment. A ridiculous amount of money. Yes, it did. Billions. Yes, it did. Starring, is that Kira Knightley or is that Natalie Portman as a young... Is that who that is? I thought it was. Wasn't it? I don't know. <laughs> David Beckham uh, did not make an appearance in his own film, by the way. <laughs> Really decent buy if it was two ninety nine. How much is it? Uh, I don't know. The price tag's not on it, and Goodwill has ADHD with pricing. You should at least ask. They might get. Oh, that's weird. It's water spots, but the condition's not bad. How does that happen? How do water spots get on a disc? I don't know. But even if I don't keep it, we could go take this bookman's and probably get ten, twelve dollars in trade in, depending on what it's going for right now. Is this game? I can't get it because the condition's terrible. But I just remember this like an open world game. We are the Hulk. You can demolish buildings completely. You can run up buildings, you can rip cars in half, and use them as boxing gloves. You find, like, mechs. Was it cel-shaded? Yeah, uh, a little like bit, it. yeah. So it actually aged pretty well, oh, and well. Yep. ultimate destruction is right. That yep. is an accurate title. Oh, the Stuntman! That's a really uh, nostalgic game, actually. You uh, do all these different, like, Hollywood movie stunts, you and then you can... perfectly. Exactly. This game is a pain in the ass, but the like free roam version where you can like build your own stunts was so cool because you could like put ramps and explosives and time it all out oh it was so cool were you a real human being yeah. i gotta mention this because it's appeared in past episodes <laughs> uh web root <laughs> internet security not a day one by <laughs> is this going for anything i don't know i feel like we always pass up slash make fun of sports games and then yeah. everybody online is like you know these that game's K worth ones. a million these 2k games are always the ones Greatest product placement in history of cinema was TiVo used in Tropic Thunder. When Matthew McConaughey throws the oh, T-Bow and stuff. Oh, yeah. I didn't know it was an actual, like, device itself. I thought it was just an application on, like, cable boxes, I guess. Yeah, this was, like, before cable boxes had that recording and right. rewinding, fast-forwarding type feature. Cool. Um, now TiVo's kind of dead because nobody Cause everything does, everything does that now. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> what is this? It's like the phone Tom Hanks used in Saving Private Ryan to... Radio of the Beach was not clear. Spirit of St. Louis. I don't know what that means. It's, it's like a, a, it was a plane. It's like a plane phone? And the Rams had an or the St. Louis had an NBA team called the St. Louis Spirit back before the NBA so like, was existed. this like the plane that was like the, the phone that was on the plane? The, and the plane and before it's worth like two hundred million dollars when we're making fun of it. <laughs> I like this. This is my favorite part, this little switch. Dog F dog F. The oh, beach is not clear. Weird. This is super relevant. If you need some discettes, you can always come to Goodwill. Because for three dollars, not only do you get ten IBM formatted diskettes, you also get the diskette holder. <laughs> That's really cool, actually. That's sick. No way, it's complete. But no way. No. How much is the asking price? Pokemon. Uh, I don't see it price on here. Oh, they're cute. Look at. <laughs> They're small, though. I was hoping they'd be, I, I like, like die-cast or something. I like the Blastoise one. I was hoping they'd be made of die-cast, like, still. That'd be cool. They're cute, though. Kind of cool. Never skip uh, the board game section of Goodwill. We find junky, like, schlock factory sealed games all the yeah. time. But, like, a friend of mine found, like, Mystic Veil factory sealed, which is, like, a RPG-type board game. That's that, cool. That goes for, like, $60, $70, so. Didn't he also find uh, Small World? Yes, he did. That, in fact, that's the one it was. It was like a $60 game, and he got a factory sold for $2.99. That's cool. So never skip the board games. Always uh, browse through them, even though we usually find factory sold mastermind. Oh. Yep. They sell new games here as well. Uh, this is interesting. Beer toss. Right, alcoholic. It's like a uh, beer pong. I was hoping they would show a child games. like playing the game, just like how Peter Piper Pizza It has does say 21 game. plus on okay, it good. at least. Despite um, the fact that there's no alcohol. These kids don't look like they're 21, though, no. some of them. 
All the 21 year olds are looking younger and younger. Uh, Peter Piper Pizza unironically has a beer pong game for what? like meant for targeted for five year olds. Oh my god, this is actually heavy. Alcohol companies are the new cigarette companies. Well, we're hitting the road from Goodwill. Uh, we didn't buy anything because the line, like one person in line, had like a full shopping cart of shirts. Right, was buying for like their whole family for Christmas. So it wasn't. I didn't think it was worth the 10, 15 minute wait in exchange for one game. For one game, that's probably not worth too much. I mean, it's worth like ten bucks. I was Is gonna it? get it. I was gonna get it. Try to try to trade into Bookman's tonight to see if we could get some upsell. Uh, we are heading to GameStop. I have some yep. old Xbox games, and I'm looking to get some Switch games. So we'll probably not film in GameStop because it's very frowned upon. We'll see. I will try. Um, I'll pretend I'm texting with your phone and see what happens. Okay. Oh my god. So you said you did not like Has Been Heroes? I liked it a lot, actually. I did not. It I was relentlessly, yeah, it was relentlessly difficult. Too difficult for me. But it's a $20 GameStop exclusive. So you I have to get it. I was 20 bucks. I got that when it was 60 because Ooh, nothing was on the Switch like when it came out. I still have an open line, so don't feel too bad. Ooh, I bought this at 60 and then it dropped to 30 on Black Friday, but I you know what? I don't regret it. This game's so much fun. I'll pick it up for like 20 eventually. Yeah, care to explain? Well, you're female pop stars, and no, it's just <laughs> stupid. Care to explain why I won't be buying this right now? With whatever his name is, Ronaldinho. Is that who that is? I don't even know. It's either, is it Brazil? Uh, no, it's Ronaldinho is his name. Is that that guy? Yeah, playing on Barcelona. Wasn't he like the most famous one and then Beckham just kind of took over? No, he's a big meme. Oh, was he He mean? just did like flary stuff. He did like the like yeah. upside down kick thing? Uh, sure. It's funny that in 1997, this movie was considered <laughs> like schlock now. and bad. And in hindsight, it's... Light years above the garbage they're churning out now. <laughs> I don't know if you saw the other trailer for Jurassic no, World 2. Oh my god. Michael Creighton would be rolling in his grave. So, trading in uh, old college books that I'm not going to need anymore. And I have been forgetting to sell at the bookstore because it's way across town. I don't want to go there. And I haven't sold them online because it'd be pain in the ass. So, we're trading them in. Bookman! I did yeah. this. Two weeks ago and got $115, so we'll see what Fanta gets. These are always the coolest part of bookings. These things. It's like Pokemon Silver must be at a surplus right now. Good heavens. Yeah, 30 bucks for gold. I don't think so. Care to reiterate on Majora's Mask asking price? 60 bucks? Yeah, I don't think so. Even after the remake came out, I thought that would drive the price way down. No, usually remakes don't really change the price of retro stuff. Okay. $55 for Mario Kart. Pretty standard, 30 for Mario 64, but that's a really nice condition. Copy. It isn't Majora's Mask still for like 50 bucks on eBay? 40, 50 bucks? I don't remember it being that expensive at yeah, all, I don't think so to be either. honest. I don't remember it even being north of 40, but I haven't sold one for ever. I haven't either. I also have so don't many remember a link to the past being forty dollars. No, that's and not close. player's choice. It's cool that the player's choice label is like completely different color. It's true. Than a regular one. And then the fake factory seal Game Boy games. Cheeky. Remember when we got dot yeah. hack at a garage sale for fifty cents? That was one of our better finds. I remember that? It's awesome. It was like the second one we got, but still really cool. I don't know. Fallout was on uh, PS2. I thought those were like PC games only. That's cool. Wii U games. I actually got a Switch game here. This what is this? Pop Explorer Edition. Oh my God! There's already a shovelware that is. in the Switch. I don't know what that is. I've never shovelware. Heard I believe that. Forty dollars. Forty dollars. Forty dollars. Brand new for forty dollars. Okay. Thirty dollars. What else, if you had to use your trade in tonight? What what catches your eye so far? Nothing. Oh god, this place okay. sucks. Even if it was like free, what would you get here? Uh, Spirit Tracks. I don't have that. It's in that red box. What was that a re-release? I don't know. I can like always switch it out box. though. Okay. Oh yeah, you have those cases from GameStop. I have GameStop. cases. Yeah. Bookman's now sells nautical <laughs> instruments, and who comes in and trades this stuff in? Do you want to buy a rusty? 
Looking like, I have right a saw there. here. Can, will you guys take that for trading There's credit? Spring. We sure will. Look at that spring. It's a rusty hammer next to it. This chest is the goat. That feel when you'll never find like a cool like buried pirate's chest in your life ever. And that feel when you won't be able to just kick this and have it open. Right. Too bad. So let's play us out another thrift store week. Donations certainly down in the month of December. Uh, that trend will reverse in January. People are going to be donating stuff to get rid of space or to make space, I should say, for Christmas gifts. So Goodwills will be popping off uh, January and certainly into the spring. I did pick this up for $1.99. Uh, there was no price tag, so they gave me the DVD price, which has happened numerous times before. Condition, quite nice. Um, definitely worth it for $1.99. I can trade it in if I want, or I can sell it, or I can keep it in the $5 game collection. Uh, was the best find there. There actually was some good stuff earlier in the week, but I had to leave it because of the condition. There was a Mega Man X9 game, I believe was the number, uh, on PS2, and there was also a Magic the Gathering original Xbox game, which I was really excited to see. Unfortunately, the discs were scratched to hell, and uh, I had to leave it. But the reason we went to GameStop in the video, um, Fanta hooked it up. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 uh, ended up with a special edition, which I really actually enjoy getting on Nintendo. You'll never see me buy like a Call of Duty or Battlefield 1 special edition because it looks like it just came out of a soulless assembly line in some factory in some city uh, but Nintendo actually looks like it was packed with care and love and made by little elves uh, in the North Pole so it's Xenoblade Chronicles 2 special edition a huge ass box you can see it's like the size of a textbook you would get in school I'll show you guys what's inside real quick uh, my favorite part of the whole thing by far is the actual case for the game is this really cool still book um, with artwork on it and once again, no instruction booklets is a trend we're going to continue to see with everything, unfortunately. But really cool art on the insert there. And then once again, the really cool still book animation on the outside there. Uh, fantastic. Just really cool. So I can put this special edition collection on the bookshelf. This will go with my other Switch games out in the living room. But it really has its own personality, its own identity, which I absolutely love. And it really separates the special edition from the basic one you get at Best Buy or whatever. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 soundtrack, I'm going to leave this factory sealed. Um, CDs are becoming kind of a hipster media, but uh, the soundtrack is cool to own. You can always download it, of course, onto your computer and own all of it legally, um, if that's your thing. And then another thing I'm going to leave factory sealed until after I play the game for a while, a, I believe it's an art book. This thing is massive and super heavy. Uh, it's probably going to have art, and it might even have some encyclopedia articles on some of the creatures and some of the lore in the game. But uh, super cool. So all of this retails for a hundred bucks, um, but we had the connection, um, traded in some stuff. A cool thing I learned via someone I was with is that law enforcement personnel get ten percent off at GameStop, which is kind of neat. Uh, if you know anyone that works for any law enforcement, bring them in with you to GameStop and get 10% off. It doesn't sound like a big deal, but on like, for example, the special edition Nino Cooney is going to be 300 bucks coming out in a few months. 10% uh, off $300 is certainly a noticeable chunk of change. Um, however, of course, Gamers Club Unlocked always trumps everything. If you don't have that service, then I'm not. there's not a whole lot I can do for you. So this is really cool. Uh, leave a like on the video as usual. If we hit 500 likes, we'll head out and do another one of these uh, next weekend or the weekend after. Towards the end of the month, I'll be doing a $5 game collection, year in review type thing. Uh, the collection's over a year old now, and I'd like to kind of show you guys everything in it that I got over the course of the first year of it. Uh, talk about money and kind of talk about how things have certainly slowed down a bit um, compared to the beginning of the year. But anyway, that's it, guys. Leave a like. Leave a comment uh, what you're hoping to get under the Christmas tree or under the menorah or whatever religion you happen to follow. Uh, what present you're hoping to get this holiday season. Thank you guys for watching and have a fantastic day. Copyright.